The impact to the communities were great. It was one of our darkest hours, and that's not just, that's literally. We, we, we had to shut off all the lights in the whole South Lawrence. We couldn't get Joe Hammerock to respond to us. I called Senator Markey and I said, I'm having this problem, and I really, it's really bothered me because I'm not that childish of a guy. Can you talk to them and get them in the room? I had, you know, I, I, I did it, and I really didn't think it was going to happen, uh, mostly because they don't care about anybody. But the senator got him in the room. So I said to the chairman of the Senate Commerce Committee, I want to have a hearing in Lawrence on this tragedy so that we are able to make that company accountable to the people of Lawrence and Andover and not Andover. That is what my goal was. It was to make sure that those families who were suffering the most, especially the ones in Lawrence, knew that there was somebody on their side. And I knew that they were the ones most disproportionately impacted. They did not have a place they could go. They had no other place. They would have to live without those necessities. So that's why I brought the hearing here, to make them accountable and to swear under oath that they would tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God about what the causes of that accident were and what they were going to do to make good for those families. The fact that he got the Lionel Rondon Pipeline Safety Act passed through and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Republicans at the State House and then basically the entire natural gas industry, which is phenomenal, he refused to back down on the provisions that will keep us safe. And that's exactly what we need in a senator. And so this catastrophe has left untold scars on our community. But with Senator Markey's work, we are able to heal and we're able to get justice.